guys, Stephen here, the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Friday. So we are still going through our Etat Libre Dionge fragrance discovery wheel, discovery set. And I have been playing around with cologne. I almost went through the whole sample of this. I've been wearing it for about like two weeks now. And I will read you guys the little insert and what it has to say about it. It says, cologne, a nice scent. A fresh blend of orange blossom, blood orange, and bergamot with just a hint of musk and jasmine. The perfection of simplicity. An easy pleasure to wear everywhere. Nice. So they pretty much gave you all the notes in there. The only one that I didn't see in that little description that was in uh, their description was leather. So it is a nice fragrance, by the way. So if I had to pick some choice words to describe this, it would have to be that it's a very bright citrus summer fragrance that's modern. So the other thing on this, um, it is very citrusy, bergamot bomb, okay? The one thing I thought every single time that I put this on was, wow, this is a unisex fragrance. I know this because I've worn it before, but the opening is quite masculine and it could be something that'll turn a lot of women off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say this now. This is a very safe blind buy if you're into fresh fragrances for men. Um, but if you are a woman, I would suggest definitely trying this one before you buy it. It's very easy to find at like places like Sephora, so it shouldn't be an issue. But just know that. And if you do feel like it's just a little masculine, just give it some time. Okay, give it a chance. Give it a few chances if you can. Um, because once it dries down, and it starts to dry down fairly quickly, which is nice. Okay, because the opening is not my favorite part about this. My favorite part is the dry down. And that's when it starts to warm up. Um, you start to notice that musk and leather a lot more. Uh, it's still a very light, summery, fresh fragrance, okay? Um, it's got some citrus, but most of that citrus really fades away with the opening once it starts to dry down. And um, I would say, like, you still tell that there's that bergamot over there, and then you get, like, this little bit of <sighs> light, sweet jasmine in the background, and it's hiding behind some leather and musk. You guys know how I feel about leather. It's probably why I enjoy this fragrance so much, right? It is not the most original fragrance, but I like it, okay? Um, it's not something that I would personally go out and rush and buy, uh, but if I was in the market for a type of fragrance like this, I would say, um, It'd make a safe blind buy if you are a guy who's really into fresh fragrances. But if you are a woman and you are easily turned off by a slightly cologne, masculine type of fragrances, give it a chance, you know, go try it before you buy it. And I mean, honestly, you would kind of expect a little, a fragrance to lean a little masculine with a name like cologne, right? Come on. Um, it is very versatile, okay? This doesn't project a whole lot during the day. I get wafts of it throughout the day as I moved around, but um, it wasn't like something that would fill up a room, you know, obviously with the exception of when you first spray it on and you're just like projecting everywhere. We're all just little projection bombs, right? Um, and the longevity is decent on this. Actually, of all of the Etat Libre Dionge fragrances that I've tried. This one is one of the better performing ones on my skin, which I found, you know, to be nice. Again, and I would have to say that this is a little, a little overpriced for what it is because it's not that original. And the pricing on it is um, 100 mils is four, $149. 50 is $95 and then 30 mils is $58, which is like their pretty standard pricing. I did see it at like places like eBay, but uh, with all the, du not dupes, but like um, imposters on the market, I, I really wouldn't trust it and buy it over there. I'd buy it at someplace like, you know, Lucky Scent or from them directly. <sighs> but if you do have it or if you did purchase it, I feel like you'd get a lot of wear out of this. This is you know, a really great daytime fragrance all year round, wear it to work, especially, again, because it doesn't project a whole lot. And it's very fresh and pleasant. It's a people-pleasing scent. You could also wear this for date night. 
if you were gonna do that i would suggest um maybe like warmer weather this makes me think of like summer spring and summer i don't get a whole lot of like fall and winter out of this as far as like an age thing goes um if you can afford it buy it although i could see a lot more um younger guys going for this just because you know they might be at sephora for whatever reason and try it out say this is a really nice scent let me pick it up you know in comparison to some some of the other fragrances they may try when they go there uh, you know maybe they don't have the 149 for the 100 ml bottle maybe they just get the 30 ml because that'll last them a while if they can pick it up and they like it enjoy it then good for them Overall, like I said, really nice fragrance. Pass for me though, because of the pricing on it and just the fact that it's not that original doesn't really compel me to purchase it. But if you're in the market for a nice fresh summer fragrance and just something that's really easy to wear, you don't think about it much, definitely should check this one out, put it on your radar, go to Sephora, try it out. And like I said, if you're gonna buy it, buy it from like a reputable place. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Till next Friday, bye.